In this video, we're going to look at the Edit and Mix Window display options in Pro Tools. Uh, both the Mix and Edit windows can be customized to show a variety of optional components. And there are a couple of different places that we can set these options. So I'm going to start off with the Edit window. The first place you could go to make changes would be to go to the View menu. And then under Edit Window Views, you can see all of the different options that are available. Comments, mic preamps, instruments, inserts, sends, I.O., real-time properties, track color, etc. Or I could just click All, and then they would all become visible, which is probably a little too much. It really compromises your screen real estate here in the Edit window. If you're going to show a bunch of these, it's a better idea to do it in the Mix window. Now, one little trick you can do here when you have a few views that you don't want to see anymore is that you can either option click on the Mac or alt click on Windows to quickly get rid of those particular views. So in this case, let's say I wanted to get rid of comments, mic pre, um, I'll keep instrument and inserts, get rid of sends, get rid of IO, and keep real time properties, something like that. Now I can also change these edit window views from the edit window view selector, which is going to be right here above the first track in your session. So if I click on that, I can see those same views, comments, mic pre's, instruments, inserts, sends, etc. So that menu functions in exactly the same way as going to the view menu. So let's go ahead and take a look at these views in the mix window. So again, I can go to the view menu, mix window views, and you can see in here, mic preamps, instruments, inserts, sends, delay compensation, track color, and comments. And I also have the option to turn them all on. which in this case is still really too much. <laughs> so again, we can option click to get rid of a few of these, maybe the second set of inserts and the second set of sends. And then just like in the edit window, I actually have a mix window view selector as part of the window. If I come down here to this bottom corner, you can see I have all of the same views available. I could go to minimal or just show the few that I want to see. Inserts, sends, maybe delay compensation. So it's pretty simple to customize these views in Pro Tools based on what you need to see at any particular given time. One other view option that's important to know about is the narrow mix window. And there are two ways that I can activate this. Again, I can go to the view menu and I could choose narrow mix. And this is a great option if you have a lot of tracks in your session. Now disable it the same way by deselecting narrow mix. Now there's also a keyboard shortcut for this, which on the Mac is Command Option M, and on Windows that would be Control Alt M. And that's a really quick way to toggle between the narrow mix window and the standard mix window.